Hey Cancer, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So I'm going to start with the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. If you would like uh, to purchase any of the decks I might end up using or this one in particular, ching! You can find Psychic Tarot in the links down below in the description and there's some other cards listed there as well you might want to peruse. Fun times, good stuff. So if you like the way I read, personality, the way I show up, whatever, you know, that kind of thing, then you'll enjoy the decks below. They'll be your vibe, right? That's kind of how you should notice it when you see people um, using cards on YouTube or whatever, friends or what have you. If you like their energy that's coming off of them when they're using those cards, consider if that's also your type of energy that you'd like to put out, and then maybe you would like that kind of deck, right? I don't know why I said all that. Maybe you need to start with one or something because I didn't say that to anybody else. <laughs> but whatever. Here we go. What do we have for cancer today? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sheesh. That started crazy. Why is this crazy? Shit. Lord Jeebus. Okay. So, here's the thing. Did you start something new with somebody? You got a lot going on. Let me check on this other situation before I open my mouth because I don't want to confuse you with all kinds of stories. Okay, and then this. Mm -hmm. And this. Huh. And then, so what's the overall story? Okay. This is interesting. Very interesting. And they told me to cut the deck in the middle. What's in the middle? Creative. Creation. Relationship energy. Sacral chakra energy. New business energy, having a baby energy. There's a whole lot of creation going on here. So here's what I'm seeing. I'm going to put this aside here. I'm seeing the beginning of something new. A brand new beginning with something awesome. So the interesting part of this energy is it's coming from what you've learned. The lesson you've learned is providing a new beginning for you. So if you went through some bullshit, which I know you did, because I can see it. I mean, some bullshit. Um, you will then understand that you deserved better, right? So by taking that wisdom and applying it, you're getting a brand new beginning that's providing you hope. Hope for what? And the fact that you might have a real freaking relationship after that bullshit you just went through. Because you learned a lesson from it. You, you learned a few things. What you learned is that you don't want these bullshit lies. You want someone who's loyal. You don't want someone who cheats, who gambles, who drinks, who does whatever crazy freaking two-faced things they did away from you. That gave you a chance to rest, regain your spiritual strength. And remind yourself that you are, in fact, successful at whatever you do. You're a glorious person. You have a wonderful family. You have great, great things around you when you focus on you not being stuck in energy like that. Whatever you touch and you run with it, you do great at it. It's beautiful because you're coming from your heart. You're coming from a beautiful feeling place. You're coming from sharing that feeling with people out in the world. And the universe always rewards that. They love that. So here, you're being asked to choose wisely the next time this happens. Because you're going to have an excellent new beginning. Your third eye sees something coming. There's some kind of idea you're following through, a person you're looking at, something that you see coming. What is this about? Hmm. I think you might be creating something, a business. That might be a really good direction, a little side hustle. Maybe a new job you got. There's something new 
that you're choosing, and this could very well be a partnership, because I see one coming. But you're going to have to make a decision and trust your intuition moving forward. Along with this positive forward movement, you also have abundance. You have money, you have a good home, you have a really nice foundation. Maybe it's a business you're starting where you can like really make some cash. Um, and it's something you love. It's passionate. It's creative. It's sacral chakra energy. What I said earlier. Really, really nice. Beautiful energy. Okay. So right now you're not entirely contented in your current situation. Ho-hum, I'm bored. What do I do with myself now? I would really like to be in a relationship. I'd like a partnership. I'd like a good job. I'd like to be with the right partner. And you just want your heart to be happy. Heart chakra. I love the psychic tarot because it's simple and easy. And you can just let your intuition flow. Because there's not, not a whole lot of words. There's beautiful imagery. It lets you go all kinds of places. It's really beautiful. Um... You have a lot of major arcana cards that I pulled out of this entire deck. All the black cards are major arcanas, which are major transformation, major life lessons learned, that type of energy for these cards. So you have someone from the past that you think about, something from the past. So maybe it's you seeing them come back. And you know that you're not going to let fuckery happen to you again because you're going to be stronger this time. You're going to stand in your strength. You're going to own your power. You're going to say what you said <laughs> and be done with it. And trusting your intuition. Trusting in the moment, I'm hearing. Because there were moments where you would panic and go back to some like standard protocol that would keep you feeling safe, that wasn't honest and in your integrity. This is now on the fly because you know who you are and you've learned your lessons, trusting your intuition the minute it comes in in the middle of a situation. So you know exactly what to do to keep the peace, harmony, peace, fulfillment. This is a much, much better space than that deceptive bullshit I said earlier. <laughs> and this is the transformation. Someone's transforming. So let me look real quick at this other person, this other thing headed toward you. Because I see your transformation. You're doing a beautiful job of stepping into a safer space with your heart. Where your heart was before, just like crazy gave and then got hurt. Now, you're in a much better place. Okay, so I'm hearing some of the places you were with, some of the people, the places, the things you were doing before. Were like, this is supposed to feel exciting. I'm supposed to be getting through this. And whatever. It's done. I'm over it. Next. It's like you were looking for a deep connection. You finally found one that was deep, but then you got bullshit. You see what I'm saying? You need a balance of both. Deep without bullshit. <laughs> so the person, the thing, the situation, I'm definitely a person. Because a business or a thing wouldn't be so fucking confused. Three major arcana cards. And mental conflict. This this person is like up in their head. They're thinking, thinking, thinking. How do I solve this problem? What do I do? How do I give of myself without overgiving? How do, they're, they're, they're afraid to show feelings. When I see mental conflict, it means someone's overthinking a connection. Um, now they're stepping into their intuition. They're becoming aware. They're now looking at the situation in hindsight and going, Oh, fuck me. That's what happened. That's what's going on. That's why I'm supposed to be with them. Oh my God, I so get it. So they're taking charge. They're taking charge of their life. I think they spent too much time um, kind of letting you lead or letting other people make decisions for them. And that was not, uh, it was not helping them make the decisions that they needed to make. Sacrifices. They weren't looking at themselves. They weren't dealing with them, right? What do they need to sacrifice? What is this authority um, energy that they need to take on? What do they need to do? They need to show up. Accelerated motion. They need to show up. They need to come get you. They need to show you they've learned their lessons. They need to show you that they figured it out. That's what they need to do. Yep, definitely. Obstacles and challenges. So they know that there's a rift between you and they need to make it right. Okay. 
How are you going to respond to this? You're like, well, you really hurt me. That kind of sucks, but you're saying the right thing. So I'll try to balance this out and listen to what you have to say. I've learned my lessons, so we're not having that same shit happen again. Okay. And ta-da! Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. Rejoice and celebration. Engagement. Um, holidays, celebration. Like, we can have this. We can be together. We can do this. You can do it. All right. Um, one more for the other person. And then I probably will get some advice for you real quick. So the other person needs to decide. They're going to make the decision, move forward, do the things, come make this right. They have to take the action, not you. You did all the damn work already. You go make you happy, okay? How about your advice? What are you going to do? I saw the sign. I love it. Go towards the light. <laughs> Head towards the light air, Carolyn. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You just need to be loving you. You just need to be loving you, starshine. Just be out there in the universe, floating around, being that amazing beam of sunshine that you stopped being when they were fucking you around. Okay? <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it there. If you'd like a personal read, you can go to ComfySoul.com. Thank you so much for the comments, likes, shares, and subscribes. If you want to be notified of when the next video is coming out, hit that bell notification. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye.